Hey there, I'm Christine Zernheld from the Marketing O'Clock podcast. So if you're familiar with Performance Max campaigns in Google Ads, you may know we get basically no data and no control in these. But some data you can see is display placement. So this isn't all placements. Again, if you're familiar with PMAX, these can run across all of Google's owned and operated inventory. So they can run on Google Search, YouTube, Discover, Gmail, but they can also run on display placements. And those are the only placements that you're really gonna be able to see in your account. And you can actually exclude them if you want to. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, but again, you're not going to be able to see any of those Google owned and operated placements, but let's get into it. To find your display placements, you're going to start by navigating to your performance max campaign of choice. And then under insights and reports in the new Google ads interface, you're going to go to the report editor, and then you're going to click performance max campaigns placement. It's it's a frequently used report, I think in all accounts, at least in mine. So here you can see we have this big bucket of placements in this report for Google owned and operated. So these could be Google search, YouTube, Gmail, any of those placements. And then from there, we can see display placements. So these are ads outside of Google's own inventory that are ads displayed on. And actually, if you keep scrolling, you'll see a lot in here with zero impressions as we keep going. And that's because you get um, data here for every single placement. It's not like you have to appear on a certain site for it to appear in this list. All sites are gonna show up. Okay. Coming to you from the feature, I just bat, uh, scrolled through all those campaigns with impressions and now you can see there's a lot in here with zero impressions. So everything that's part of display, every site will appear in this list. You can see them and whether or not you have impressions on them. So you may recognize when I went through that list of performance max campaign placements, I kind of skipped over one, it's kind of part of search, but search partners are not included in my list here right now. And this was something that a lot of advertisers were upset about because it's outside of Google owned and operated and it's also outside of display. So we really should, I mean, if I was Google, I would let people know if they were showing on any of those search partner sites. So regarding this problem, Google said starting in March 2024, the Performance Max Placement Report will support search partner network sites. The search partner sites will show alongside display and Google owned and operated. I am recording this video in May 2024 and I do not have the search partner sites in the list now, but you can see if you search um, in report editor and search for search partners, they're here, they're just not letting me add them. So we have percent spend on search partners and network with search partners. So I think when it's coming, you'll be able to add this column for network and it would say here whether it was a display placement or a search partner placement. Another big problem that you will notice with this report if you're an advertiser who values performance is you really can't see any data in here. So this is an e-commerce campaign. We cannot see revenue. You're not allowed to add it to the report. You cannot see conversions. You cannot see conversion value. None of those things can be added to the placement report. So it's pretty useless in, except for the impressions. For that reason, you really don't know how any of these are performing. You just know whether or not your ads are showing. Um, so I, there is a way to exclude them and I'm gonna get to that in a second, but I really don't exclude any sites from display unless it's for compliance reasons. Like my brand doesn't wanna appear on a certain website for whatever reason. That's the only reason I would really exclude anything because if you're really using Pmax the way you're supposed to, you should be doing as few kind of limiting things as possible. I wouldn't add any negative placements unless it's for a branding purpose, but it's definitely good to go through here, look at the list and make sure your ads aren't showing on anywhere sketchy where you wouldn't want your brand name to appear. Okay, so now that you know how to see display placements, let's talk about how to exclude them. So you're going to go to audiences, keywords, and content in the new interface and press content. So you may have noticed I am in that same one performance max campaign right now. I'm not at the account level, but this list is at the account level. And that's the other reason you wanna be careful about adding too many exclusions because any exclude that exclusion that you add for performance max display placements is going to apply to your entire account. So you wanna be really careful about them. You could only do it at the account level. So in this account, we only have some exclusions in place for some YouTube channels that we added a while ago, but this is also where you would add display placements. So again, you would click here, edit exclusions, account, 
type in whatever URL you didn't want to appear on. So let's say for whatever reason you didn't want to appear on cypressnorth.com, you could add it here and add one negative placement. But again, it's going to apply for the entire account, so be very careful there, and I would really only do it for branding purposes. So now you know how to see and exclude display placements for Performance Max. I hope I can make another one of these videos soon with more abilities we have to do within Performance Max campaigns pertaining to data, but probably not likely. But thanks for watching this episode, and if you want more tutorials like this, or all the digital marketing news you missed this week, please subscribe to our channel. We release new episodes every Friday of our new show and tutorials like this every week as well. See you there.